You know, it comes to a point, I think Hollywood should just realize that they have been defeated. It comes to a point that it's just enough is enough. Nobody's watching this crap. Nobody nobody cares about Star Wars. I mean, the left fucking broke Star Wars. They they broke Star Trek. And in my opinion, they, they broke uh, Ghostbusters too. While the Afterlife one appeared to be uh, a lot better than 2016 and completely erase it. Uh, just didn't do it for me. I just I like the original Ghostbusters movie. That's where I stand. <sighs> now comes uh, Santa Incorporated. So that features uh, <laughs> I don't know why Seth Rogen or Sarah Silverman, but the whole thing is racist in itself. It's supposed to be a stop motion animation of. Characters, elves, uh, I guess characters of Sarah Silverman, Seth Rogen, all about dethroning Santa because Santa is being white. Time for a different color Santa, a different race Santa, and all, all these jokes, they fall flat. They fall flat on their face. And of course, when these things fall flat, uh, who do they blame? They don't blame themselves. They blame, well, Seth Rogen claims, and this is by uh, NME.com. Seth Rogen claims white supremacists are review bombing Santa Inc. Right, 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 because uh, Seth Rogen's not a white supremacist, is he? Sure as hell, Sarah Silverman is not, uh, whoa, yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you look at all the times that she was in blackface, I mean, probably probably more times that she's cracked any kind of jokes. Uh, yeah, but we're the racist. We're the racist. But now for me personally, when they blame me, when they blame the Beast for this show's failure, I like it. I like it. It's like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't write this stuff. I don't make this shit. Uh, I sure as fuck would not hire, ever hire these elitist uh, knuckleheads that probably were on uh, Epstein's flight log. <laughs> the child fuckers there. You know, but uh, yeah. Yeah. He says, filmmaker said his new HBO series really pissed off tens of thousands of white supremacists. Wow. Wow. Uh, wow. No, because your white supremacists hide in groups like Black Lives Matter or Antifa. They're talking about the Proud Boys or the militia. Those are pretty much the defenders of patriotism in, in our country. You don't see them running out there burning down businesses and, and murdering innocent people. Those are all Antifa. Those are all Soros-funded uh, uh, terrorist organizations. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. So... The people, I, I'm not sure like who they make this crap for because I think the base that they're trying to appeal to, uh, they don't watch this shit either. And in fact, they don't even have jobs. They sit in their mommy's basement uh, fingering themselves all day long. Seth Rogen has addressed critical response to Santa Inc. Claiming tens of thousands of white supremacists are to blame for the HBO Max series overwhelmingly negative reception. But how do you explain Star Wars? How do you explain all those Disney uh, live action reboot failures? How do you explain Charlie's Angels, Ghostbusters 2000? How do you explain all this stuff? Failing, falling flat. I explain the Eternals falling flat. I explain all that crap falling on its ass. How do you explain it? Is it all white supremacists? I don't think so, Seth. See, people, companies, they they get paid money to produce uh, woke uh, narratives into their movies or their shows or their commercials. So by the time this stuff actually hits the network, by this time when it actually hits the theaters, um, they've already been paid. 
Now, mind you, if they would just do the movies right, do it the right way for the fans, they would get paid more money. But uh, this is all about pushing the narrative. The show's first and presumably only season was released on full on Tuesday. Uh, and thus has far been uh, majorly panned by audiences. On IMDb, 90.6% of 5,236 viewers rated Santa Inc. One star holds an ag uh, aggregated score of 1.1. Out of 10, make it the lowest rated TV series. Because it's crap. There's nothing Christmassy about this uh, Christmas fucking show. There's nothing. It's it's all political nonsense garbage. Which I can't even show you the trailer because you know, of YouTube. And uh, copyright strikes. and. But uh, they've taken down... I think they've taken down the comment section ones, which is like the future what YouTube plans on doing. They've taken down the negative thumbs down because, uh, because well, this is to protect creators. No, this is to censor the creators. This is to censor everybody. Censor, censorship people doesn't protect anybody. It creates more problems and it's oppression. You know, in this country, you should have your freedom of expression, your freedom of speech, uh, and those freedoms are being violated by, by YouTube policies by doing that. But the comments were really bad, really trashed. I would love to show you these comments. They were, they were fucking bad. That's so bad. Just like, just like uh, I mean, just like if you, if you look at CNN. CNN people are tuning out of CNN because for one it's like uh, you know they just they, they just I feel like they fabricate a lot of their shit and they've been caught quite a bit fabricating their stories now that Trump right now currently is not in office they got nothing to do they got nothing to do they gotta bring, they gotta make up shit to try to keep viewers, but it doesn't work. That's to the point where shows like fucking Dennis the Menace, Leave It to Beaver, the fucking Monsters, My Favorite Martian, are bringing in higher ratings. And these shows came out in the fifties and the sixties. They have higher ratings than fucking CNN does. So bad, and now they just. Uh, they just fired, uh, CNN fired Chris Cuomo, which, I mean, come on, this guy had it coming. Oh, Frito Cuomo got chicken. I guess that's white supremacists too, right? Guess the uh, ratings for CNN are because of white supremacists, right? Uh, of course, uh, the crap where he tried to help his brother using CNN, uh, and they just, they, they shit canned him. Yup, CNN people, we are beating the system. We are beating the system uh, slowly that is uh, trying to keep us in the gutter. But uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, somebody described uh, Santa Inc. as a lump of coal. Overzealous reliance of a dull humor feeling dour and heavy. I always said this shit sucks. Uh, Seth Rogen tweeted, We really pissed off tens of thousands of white supremacists with our new show, Santa Inc., uh, which is now available on HBO Max. Yeah. Yeah. Never had HBO Max. Uh, never will at this point. Holy shit. <sighs> Earlier this week, Rogan admitted he was extremely high when he sat in front of the row of Adele's recent U.S. television uh, special, telling Jimmy Fallon that he and his wife had smoked a ton of weed before. Hey, be careful, Seth. Be careful trying to say that uh, 
that weed is causing all those uh, heart problems and not the not the the vaccines. Yeah, yeah. But we know we know better. Oh, uh, wow. So yeah, Santa Inc. Santa Inc. Have you seen Santa Inc. People, let me know. Leave your comments down below. But it uh, looks like this shit show uh, turned out to be just that. And the viewers just flushed it down the drain. We we don't need to watch shit to know that it stinks. We can just smell in the air and we turn it off. Anyway, people, that's the video. Leave your comments down below. Follow me over on BitChute as Spaceman Reviews. And uh, get your political commentary. And believe me, when I tell you on Spaceman Reviews, it's vulgar. It's vicious. It ain't for the faint of heart. And you should be over 16 to watch uh, Spaceman Reviews. Be safe, stay safe, and I will catch you on the next one. Good night. Fucking Santa. Give me a break.